We are here to put policy and what works over politics. And if the stated goal is to save a life, needle exchange programs have been proven time and again to save lives. And we're not an outlier if we were to allow our local communities to make this choice. We've just voted on local option provisions yesterday. We talked about local option today. We talked about favoring local option. Well, this is local option. It's as local option as it gets. It would, first of all, have to pass your local health board. And then where you put the program, it would have to pass that city council or those county commissioners or magistrates, that fiscal court. So there's two layers. If your community wants one, it's going to have to get through those two bodies. And let me tell you, 31 states have them, including D.C. and Puerto Rico, states around us, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Missouri. They do not increase drug use. Studies show time and again they do not increase drug use. They reduce needle sharing. The best thing about needle exchange programs as it relates to heroin, folks who come in to use the program are five times members, now listen, five times more likely to enter treatment. And those of you, all of us, care about our fiscal health in this state. Folks, we're under another public health crisis nobody's talking about, and that's hepatitis C. We've suffered a nearly 1,600, the good doctor nodding, a 1,600% increase in hepatitis C cases related to opi opioid dependence, that dual diagnosis, so we know it's coming from opioids and heroin. These programs will cut that. The cost of hepatitis C in this state to Medicaid and for other insurers is off the charts. On average, about 100,000 to treat a patient. There's a new drug coming that will hopefully cure it. It'll be Medicaid eligible. It'll cost us a fortune. Needle exchange programs will reduce hepatitis C dramatically. I talked to two medical professionals last night that could not have been any more in favor of this. It'll hopefully get needles off playgrounds. The studies show that it will. Our transportation cabinet even gave us a call and said, you know what, our workers are being stuck every day. Now that shocked me on Kentucky roadways. We didn't have time in committee to show pictures of needles littering our shoulders of highways in Kentucky.